Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcasting with Drupal 7. Um, this is the introduction episode, and we're, we're going to just talk about what we're going to be covering in the upcoming episodes, which is Drupal installation, web hosting, um, how to set up Drupal for podcasting, your content types, which would be audio and video. Yes, you can podcast videos, too. Um, organizing your podcast and building an RSS feed, an XML iTunes compatible RSS feed to submit your, um, your, uh, podcast to iTunes. And once we get all that done, then we're going to go into, uh, actually how to, um, podcast with, uh, Adobe Audition and, um, we might even go into how to, uh, podcast with, uh, Audacity, which is a free version of, uh, audio manipulation software. Uh, what I'm working on right now, as you can see here, I already have my existing website. Here's uh, all my podcast episodes. Um, what I'm building now, this is my uh, my homepage here. What I'm building now is a website called blogcastradio.com. And that's going to be very similar to what I have going on over here in my existing site. But the difference is going to be blogcastradio.com is going to be where everybody can join and upload audio and video podcasts. And that will be file hosting. So if you don't want to build your own site, you can actually use blogcastradio.com. And you'll get an RSS feed that you can submit to iTunes and stuff like that and other RSS readers. Um, what is a podcast? There we go. Uh, a podcast is not just an MP3 file. Uh, a podcast is an audio or video file that is downloadable and it's, um, generated in an RSS feed or an XML feed that is iTunes compatible and, uh, is compatible with other RSS readers so that people can subscribe to your podcast. Um, if you just want to put podcasts up on a website and let people download, or, or excuse me, if you just want to put MP3 files on a website and let people download the MP3 files, that's fine. But an MP3 by itself is not a podcast. It's just an MP3 file. It's just an audio file. Uh, an MP4 would be a video file. There's many different types of video files and audio files. We're going to be working with, uh, MP3 and MP4. And those are the most compatible, uh, with browsers, with readers with uh, iTunes with devices um, different phones and computers and stuff like that so we're mainly going to be working with uh, mp3 and mp4 and if you don't know how to produce an, you might probably know how to produce an mp3 but if you don't know how to produce an mp4 we're going to go into that too that's going to be in our advanced uh, that, that's, that's going to be after we set up our website and get that running but as I uh, as, as I'm building this broadcastradio.com website um, I want to take you all along with me and you're going to see how to actually build what, um, what I already have going on over here. You're actually going to learn how to build this. You're going to be building it with me. And, um, we're going to be starting that in our next episode. If you already know how to, uh, if you already have web hosting and you already have, know how to set up a content management system and, and all that stuff, you can probably skip the next, uh, episode, uh, it won't be that long. You might want to watch it anyway. Just pick up on a couple of tips. Uh, you might learn something you don't know already. I've, I've learned things I didn't know already just from watching stuff for, for entertainment or whatever. Uh, but then we're going to go into, uh, after, after that episode, after the, uh, Drupal installation and, and setting up web hosting and doing the, uh, initial setup, uh, of Drupal. Then we're going to go into the podcasting modules that you need to uh, turn broadcast radio into where you have your podcast and your uh, videos and stuff like that. We're going to go into out how to organize them, how to display them, and then we're going to go into uh, how to build that XML feed, which um, if it sounds if it sounds hard, if it sounds scary, it's, it's really not because Drupal actually generates an RSS feed automatically anyway. Um, but you have to set it up, uh, to be compatible with iTunes. And that's the only thing we really got to learn. Um, we're also going to go into, uh, when you do build a, uh, when you do make a podcast, when you make a video or a, uh, a, uh, audio podcast, 
there's something called uh, get ID three, and when you um when you have an MP3 in your computer, and you know you're looking at it and it has the title and it has the track number and it has the artist and the album title and stuff like that, all that is your get ID three information. Um, we're also going to get into metadata. And I know a lot of people say metadata doesn't work. Yes, it does. Not everything works. Uh, like, not all metadata is recognized by all uh, search engines and stuff like that. That is true. But there are certain key elements that you're going to need to learn how to um, edit and uh, supply for these RSS feeds so that when uh, people go on the Internet, whether it's on Google, whether it's on iTunes, wherever, wherever they're searching for something, when they type in these keywords or what they're looking for, your stuff is going to show up. And that, that's actually part of SEO. We're not going to get into search engine optimization in this series, but I am eventually going to do a series on search engine optimization. Uh, but we're going to show you how to get found. Uh, we're, we're going to touch down on that just a little bit. Um, that's really about all. Um, for this episode, like I said, this is just the introduction. So we've already learned uh, what a what a podcast is. We've already learned what Drupal Seven is. Um, if you don't know already, if you don't know this stuff already, uh, but as far as setting up Drupal for podcasting, if you already know that, you should have made these clips a long time ago because I could have used them. I had to learn all this junk on my own. This MGH, uh, this uh, the NotoriousMGH.com site, that's a lot of trial and error there. And uh, now nah, I wasn't going to do screen recordings and podcasting when I was building that because you all y'all would have heard uh, 90% cursing and 95% doing things over <laughs> and trial and error and, and all this other stuff. So now that I've already experimented and I know what I'm doing, now I'm going to go ahead and build a blogcastradio.com. And I'm going to take you along with me on that project. All right, everybody, until the next episode, this is MJH. Peace, God bless, and I'm out of here.